Hey everyone, what is going on? My name is Archer Live, and welcome back to the channel. In today's Payday 2 video, we're breaking down everything new in update 220 for Payday 2. With this update, we've got a brand new DLC pack, a new free outfit, and as well, some huge meta changes to SMGs in the game. Also, apologies if my voice sounds a bit different during this video. I thought I got over my COVID, but I'm apparently still positive and I woke up this morning and my voice sounds a bit different again. So if I sound a bit odd, that's why. But either way, I've mentioned there's a DLC, so you know what's going to happen at the start of this video. We've got a live stream, and we've got a giveaway so tonight 7 p.m bst that's uk time i'll be live over at twitch.tv slash red archer live playing the new update showing off the outfits and just generally talking all things payday so slide on in and hang out because we always do every time there's a new update it's always good fun and i'm always appreciative to everyone who does hang out so get over there join in on the community It'd be very cool to have you there second off let's talk about the giveaway now the way that this is working this time is slightly different to how payday 2 has done its dlc as of recently with the most recent city of gold campaign and so on as you know they're kind of releasing the dlcs a bit separately now but now they're completely staggering it out there's a dlc now a dlc in may and a dlc in june details of which we'll talk about later what they're doing though right now is releasing a season pass style thing for all three of the dlcs so that if you get this now you could have all three dlcs when they release overkill gave me the option of actually just giving out individual codes for this dlc or getting fewer codes and just giving out bundles and the reason i've picked bundles is because it actually works better overall if i gave out the individual codes to you it would lock out the bundle so you couldn't buy it after Afterwards, and then buying the next two DLCs would be more expensive than just buying the bundle here and now. So legit for you, it didn't make sense to give away individual codes. So I've got less to give away now. What I'm going to do is give away one bundle for this update, one bundle for the next DLC, and two bundles when the heist comes out in June. That's how I'm going to work it. I have asked Overkill if they can give me a few more bundles. They haven't said yes at the minute. Hopefully that will change, but we'll just see. So either way, there is one giveaway link in the description to win one bundle that includes this DLC, the DLC next month, and the DLC in June all three in one go so it's a bigger giveaway it means i won't have anything to give away on my payday 2 stream tonight but i will pick some other codes out to give away in its place i've still got some leftover dlc codes i can throw out there so i'll give some away to you there don't worry but that's how the giveaway is working so again in the description it's one of those gleam giveaways where you kind of go to different things and every page you visit you get some entries follow me on twitch check out my second channel the cosmic vortex do a bunch of things like that and you will get extra entries the more you do the better your chance of winning quite simply the giveaway will end on sunday at 7 p.m bst uk time at which point i will draw the winners and send some emails out so at that time on sunday keep an eye on your spam because it's happened more than once where winners haven't replied and after 24 hours if you don't reply i draw a new winner out and go from there so follow me on twitter at red archer live to keep up to date with what's going on with the giveaway so you know when i've actually contacted winners and when they've contacted me back and that kind of thing but you should be following me on twitter anyway because that's one of the entries for the giveaway pretty easy i would say and i should also thank overkill for giving me early access to this build once again as a partner they let me slide in have a look at the content and get a bigger in-depth video prepared for you so it's not just the news it's also my thoughts it's the best way i like to make these videos and I'm glad they're starting to kind of let me in a lot earlier on these builds to give me the chance to make that kind of content. So big thanks to them. But I should probably state, I know it's a bit of a meme at this point when people do like, you know, sponsored videos almost. This isn't sponsored, but you often hear people say, work in progress build. This was a pre-release build. So I don't know whether anything will look any different in the main final version. It shouldn't, but if it does, that's the reason why. Okay, enough waffling. Should we talk about the update now? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. But first, roll the intro. So like I said, we've got three big things in this update. We've got a new free outfit, a DLC pack, and on top of that, we've got SMG meta changes. I'm going to get the free outfit out of the way first because this is the nice and quick thing and I want to just acknowledge it and move on. The dive bomber outfit is new and free to all players in Payday 2 and is irrespective of any new DLC being released at the moment. You can just get it. It is a community outfit to celebrate 10 years of Payday. As a lot of you will no doubt have noticed, the linchpin outfit was removed. I don't believe I've addressed it on this channel yet. I know how much everyone loved that outfit. I did too, but it's been removed. Overkill didn't specifically state why. All I will say is that I think there was some issues with the creator of the outfit and I'm guessing Overkill he wants to distance themselves that's all i've said on twitter because I, I don't know for sure the point being linchpin's gone it sucks but we move this is the outfit to replace it so this was another winning outfit from the 10th anniversary competition the other two outfits are still in the game this is just one to replace linchpin so now you can wear that in game with no additional costs prerequisites anything like that with that out of the way let's talk about the dlc pack the first pack in the texas heat campaign is here and this time we're starting off with new clothes the southbound tailor pack with things heating up for the payday gang in what will presumably be the final campaign for payday 2 we'll talk about that in a separate video we've got a new outfit pack to kick us off on the right footing this time coming with two suits each with four variants as you might be used to by now seven masks 
and four pairs of gloves. So let's break them down and talk about them in more detail. Let's start off with the big boys, the outfits. So our first outfit of the two is the Trailblazer, which is my least favorite of the two. I have to admit, I like both outfits this time. There's not really an outfit I don't like overall, but I will say for Trailblazer, I'm not a huge fan of all the color variations. I think my favorite one is the final option, the Rogue one. There's a gray jacket with darker jeans and a white shirt. I think it all pops a lot more and is a lot more crisp looking and quite visually appealing to look at. The other ones have just got some clashes I'm not keen on. I just think the color variations let this one down a tiny bit, but the Rogue variant is really, really cool. But either way, we've got another outfit, which is the Rough Rider. This is definitely the better of the two, in my opinion. It takes the jacket off, basically, and has very similar outfits from there. We've got a waistcoat or vest, depending on where you live, what you call it, with a shirt underneath, jeans, and suspenders. The suspenders that go right round and clip on at the back and kind of like a bit like a holster at the back almost, are black on every outfit, which is a nice change having one specific bit that's the same color across all of them. Adds a bit more consistency, and I think it makes the outfits kind of complement each other a bit more with the different color variants. We've well, got a red variant, green variant, blue variant, and black variant, and they work a lot better. I've got to admit, these color variations look a lot nicer. I'm still not huge on the green one because it, I think it's just green. Usually, as, as a color, it's harder to make work on outfits sometimes. It can just stand out a bit more and look a bit more uncomfortable. But the blue and midnight variants are absolutely gorgeous. Midnight in particular, I'm really going for the darker variants this time, but midnight is delicious. That's probably not a word you use with these outfits, but it's the first word that came to mind looking at it. It's so nice looking. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. And I'm a very, very big fan. So that's probably my favorite of the entire outfit pack. But I'm glad that we've got two outfits with good designs that just sadly are let down by some of the color variations. But that's kind of something I'm used to with these updates now where you get a tailor pack and you get at least one or two color variants where you go, what's going on here? You know, the, the color variation just doesn't seem quite right. But speaking of making things worthwhile, unfortunately, I don't have quite the same sentiment on the gloves because out of all four pairs, I'm not really a big fan of any of them, I'll be, on, I'll be honest with you. The Bandido gloves to start off with have a kind of nice design, but the star on them is just, it's not kind of my thing. Maybe some people are going to like these a lot more than me, and it might just be my kind of attitude just looking into it. But then you've got True Grit, which honestly, the first thing I thought of when I looked at it was, was Bin Man, like a refuse collector glove, pair of gloves. Is that just me? I don't know. They look okay, though. The Rodeo Star, I'm I'm not big on. I'll be honest with you. I just, I'm not, I'm not big on it. And Untamed looks cool, I guess, but I struggle to think of what outfits it would work with. And you'll see in the gameplay, after looking at all four of these, I kind of just go, not a big fan, and I scroll right back up and pull up a pair of gloves out of Taylor Pack 2, because I think that just some plain black gloves really complement these outfits much better. And it's an argument I've had before, where often they design these outfits and these gloves to go together with each other, and sometimes they don't quite work. They often work better with other outfits that have released previously. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. As long as they work with other outfits and you make other color combinations, then I think that's that's good enough, no? So I'm not huge in the gloves, but you all can let me know in the comment section if you prefer them. Let me know. I'd be interested to know what you think. Finally, we've got our masks. And this is probably the main standout bit for me because we've got seven masks this time, not the usual four. We've got four cowboy hats and three baseball caps. So let's dash through all the cowboy hats. We first got an all black variant, which is definitely one of the best ones of the pack. It's just nice and slick. It goes well with the black gloves and the midnight version of the second outfit that I showed you. I've got a kind of cool overall look going there and the hat really plays into that. It looks good. I'm a huge fan. After that, you've then got a more American style one with kind of like the American star and the colorways on it. I feel like if you're more of an American patriot, this one's going to grab you. I don't know. I'm not American. This one doesn't grab me quite as much, but still looks cool. Your third one is an open plain hat, which is just kind of like a beigey color, your typical cowboy hat style colorway. And again, looks really cool. You want to wear a nice standard cowboy hat. This is the one for you. It's nice. It's simple. It's traditional. It works. And then finally, you've got your trigger man variant, which takes a white hat and puts some black patterns onto it. You've got stars on the side. You've got double stripes going down the middle and a black rim around the bottom of the central piece of the hat. Whatever that's called. I'm not a fashion expert. I don't know. The point being, this might be my favorite design out of all the cowboy hats. I think I prefer the black one just for its simplicity to go with a lot of outfits. But this one is very slick. I really, really like the design, and I think this is probably the best design piece in terms of the masks out of all of them. But we've then got our three baseball caps. First off, the blood money, and I don't know whether it's just me. Maybe you can tell as well. I'm just looking at these and going, I'm not, I'm not seeing much out of it. It's a baseball cap that's just completely red. You know, it, it looks fine, I guess, but I'm not exactly bowled over by it and going, wow, this is the best thing in the world. You've then got the Don't Mess With Texas variant, which is a much better design because you've actually got a pattern on the central part of the hat and also some red striping going along on it. So it's not just a plain color that's being shoved out to you because the blood money one is just way too plain for my liking. This one is a nice design, probably my favorite of the three caps, but you've then got your third and final cap, 
of the lot, which has Motors Racing Team blasted along the front of it. It's a bit obnoxious, but this Speedway version of the hat is one that I feel like a lot of people are going to like. It's, again, got some more colour, some more character to it. It's not just a bland colour. Seriously, I feel like I'm railing on Blood Money, but that is just, just the one colour on Blood Money really is just getting to me. But this one has got more work to it, and I like it. So, you know, as much as I'm not a huge fan of the caps, two out of three is not bad at all. You know, I can appreciate the design of them, but also not be huge on the caps themselves. Does that make sense? But that's everything in the tailor pack. Before I give my overall thoughts, let's just talk about pricing because I want to make this clear because it is working very differently. This DLC pack is $3. Next month on May 11th, Overkill have confirmed the McShea weapon pack will release. That'll be $4. And then on June 15th, so in two months time, the Midland Ranch heist will release and that'll be $7. So overall, you are looking at an overall price of about $14 for these three DLC packs. Instead, you can buy the bundle that includes all three of these DLCs, even though two haven't released yet, you'll just get them as they come out, and that bundle is $10. So it's a pretty big reduction to just get them all in the bundle rather than buy them individually if you're pretty sure that's what you're going to do anyway. So I would recommend the bundle, and that's why earlier in the giveaway section of the video, I mentioned that to me it made no sense, because the way the bundles work on Steam, Overkill have picked to do this as a standard bundle, which means that if you get an individual DLC code, or you get one given away, or you buy the DLC on its own, you then can't buy the bundle afterwards, it'll be locked out to you, it's not a dynamic bundle where if you buy one of the bits inside of it the price will reduce for the other things that's just not how it works overkill have changed the option because apparently only static bundles are the ones you can give to friends which in my head doesn't make sense because you could just gift someone a steam card anyway and then you could have the dynamic bundles and still be able to give people the dlc in an indirect way so it's it's a bit strange it's a little bit overly complicated i feel like the point being the bundle's the better deal and that's why i chose to give that away as opposed to individual dlc codes so if you can afford it i'd recommend you buy the bundle but remember, you've got my giveaway link. There's a chance to win it and it will save you $10 or $14 worth of DLC content if you manage to win it. So make sure you get it entered because it works better overall. But there you have it. So that's the Southbound Taylor pack. Overall, I recommend the pack. It's got some good content in here, some good weapon variants in the outfits and some pretty cool masks, even if certain color variations of the outfits, certain masks and overall the gloves are not quite for me. I think overall in terms of a, a group purchase, it's pretty good. It comes out quite strong and I like the kind of direction we're leading in here with the Texas Heat campaign. I recommend it. Finally, to wrap up this video, we've got the SMG meta changes. So let's talk about those a little bit because what we've got this time is a huge overhaul of the stats on SMGs, be it for singles, for akimbos, and also the attachments you can put onto those SMGs. So there's a lot of changes here. Things have really been mixed up a lot. And what I've done is they basically sent me a, a HTML file because it was way before they made the Steam announcement. They just sent me a big load of patch notes. So I've tried to make it into a decent looking list in Microsoft Word. I'm going to leave it on screen and let it scroll very, very, very slowly so you can just look through. But you can see overall from looking at this, it's a huge buff across the board. You've got damage stats increasing, accuracy increasing, recoil being reduced, total ammo pools sometimes being a little bit reduced, but the actual offset of increasing the damage, stability, accuracy on some of the attachments even, not just the base guns themselves. A lot of reload time decreases as well, I'm noticing. It's an offset kind of thing. And I think, like, picking out an example, the Spec Ops SMG, you're increasing the damage from 58 to 70 on the Akimbo, but then decreasing the ammo from 240 to 200. I still think the damage outweighs the reducing ammo. I think it works really well. So, overall, they're huge buffs. And it's really cool to see, because I am someone, as a lot of you know, who is a filthy casual with this game. I am not, like, anything near the Death Sentence 1 down player I used to be, like, three or four years ago. Because I used to be good at that stuff, but now I'm just, I'm just no good. So I like to go in with this kind of SMG, free fire, spray and pray kind of build. And this kind of thing grabs me immediately because it makes those builds even more fun to use. So I'm very happy about this. And I would be interested to know what you all think in the comment section down below. So let me know about all the stat changes, what you think about them, and which guns you're going to be using first in this overhauled SMG system. But with all that being said, that's all the changes in Payday 2's 220th update. Quite a bit going on. We've got a new DLC pack. The free outfit, again, is more of an add-on, but it's still something cool to be in the game. But these SMG changes are really grabbing me. I like them a lot, and it's going to be exciting to kind of experiment around with them. And it'll be a cool thing to experiment with on tonight's Twitch stream, which, again, check it out tonight, 7 p.m. UK time, BST. You'll always be able to watch it back if you miss it. And I also have a stream archive channel, which I've never really plugged too much, but you can check it out over there. The VOD will go up hopefully a couple of days after the stream. I've got quite a few VODs I need to upload and I'm planning to do that later this week to bring everything up to date. So hopefully everything should be up to date by the end of the week. So if you want to watch things on YouTube, 
Hopefully by about Friday should be sorted so you should be able to see it. So go sub over there if you're interested. But that about wraps up the video. So thank you all very much for watching. Once again, thank you to Overkill for sending me an early build to have a go with this update and get gameplay out ahead of time. As well as giving me codes to use for the DLC myself and to give away to all of you. I do really appreciate it. Very, very nice of them. But I'll leave it there. So thank you all very much. As I mentioned in my previous video, a Payday 3 video is coming this weekend. Slightly more pressurizing now that I had to kind of interrupt making that to make this video. But hopefully should be able to get the video out still this weekend. That's the plan. Hopefully it'll be fine. But either way, thank you all very much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all very, very soon with some more content. Until then, look after yourselves. Stay safe. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.